Duvalisib inhibits both the delta and gamma isoform of PI3 kinase, which is distinct from adelalisib, which inhibits only delta. And inhibiting gamma could have multiple benefits or toxicities, actually. Benefits include that it will inhibit the microenvironment stimuli to the CLL cells. It might also directly affect the CLL cells because gamma is expressed in the CLL cells. The potential negatives are that it could also cause some immunodeficiency from effects on T cells or neutrophils. And from the early studies with duvalisib, prophylaxis has been included as part of the studies, and so infections haven't been seen as a particularly greater problem, and that's probably been helpful. The mechanisms of resistance to PI3 kinase inhibitors are currently under investigation by me and others, and it's not clear that they necessarily involve upregulation of other isoforms. We really don't know that yet. So it's theoretically possible that inhibiting a second isoform may be beneficial in avoiding resistance, but that remains theoretical.